Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck, oh, fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? Pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. 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 Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done. Just sit up straight, will you? Head for Armadillo, friend. Good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire. Excuse How me. How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. Good Lord! It's those scoundrels again! And I love them, God! Stick it to the road! What have we stopped for? We must hurry! Excellent work, sir. Push on to Armadillo! What the hell happened to you? Bandits! Brought me blind and left me to die! I can see that. Once again, I'm the victim of my own success. They seem a man in a well cut suit if this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I give so much, and still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. Our maker is a funny such humor sometimes. Still, at least I met you. A good Samaritan in wolf's clothes. Pain is playing rare habit with my metaphors. Look out, John! Horrible! Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. She's a witch. A witch? Why don't you I'm not the kind to repeat gossip. 
Shot of brandy, pal. I need another. Look out, John! Four of them! Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth, uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No, can't say... Man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old Coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. You mean to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what, why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance, then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs>
Team, maybe you'd like to earn a little something searching around about for a few plants I'm light on. Here's the deal. Whichever one of us gets back here first with the right plants wins on the bet. Plants? Sure, why not?
Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> Call me Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when... ...years old. His eyes were... Well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute, and he was her... Well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left, or tried to leave. Ah, uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these prom. All right, let's head over to the cow pen. It's about time a budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. Marlin. Whoa there! Whoa there! Come on! Get behind the herd! That should start them moving in the right direction! Assuming they aren't put That's off it. by Come your on. smell! He's got it! Keep on going! Come on, easy up there! True calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch.
Now what? I got you. Stop shooting at me! Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, right? Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. That sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Right? It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, we've got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Right, now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret and sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men on the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. 
Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eyes. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy the But I the know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power... Certain things in this country a woman could do much better, if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Miss McFarland. Who'd have thought you'd be such a natural in Bustin' Broncos? That was fun! I think you could be a fine rancher one day, if you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. Yeah. Go! Marston, these are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Come on, Mr. Tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure asked a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. No! That's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Sell them, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful. But she's never far from my thoughts. How'd you meet her? She was an orphan, too. Fell in the same bunch of reprobates I did. She did what she had to do to survive. Same as I did. You can't wallow with the pigs without getting a little dirty. Looks like the ranch hand's up ahead. Yeah. Whoa there.
Let's go. Stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us. Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Why not? I like watching a man eat his words. Bad luck, my friend.
protecting yourself? It's the American way. Hey, partner. Hear that marshal pisses in a squat if you catch my meaning. That's a fine deal. That's what I need. I won't sell armaments to them thugs, whatever the profits may be. We got iron you can trust. Why, hello. Don't think you'll be needing this. here, son. I get gone. It's a pleasure to help.
Howdy, friend. Old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200, I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. It's a bargain at twice the price. Why don't you come back when you got the money? Two hundred, partner. Take it or leave it. No good piece of dirt. Thank you. Mind me. Don't mind me, officer. Who did? He's missing. He's 
only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. <laughs> Can't the police force help you? What are you waiting for? Climb aboard. If you think you can handle it, mister, I'll set the horses to it. McFarland Ranch, please. Don't you remind me. You get some sleep. I'll get you where you're going. I need to get some rest. Wake me up when we arrive. My life, mister. Here, please take this. My pleasure, partner. Come on, let's get this over with.
that no good piece of dirt. Thank you. Officer, I do apologize. You be causing it. you gotta do is agree to a duel. Die! Someone needs to teach you some respect. I don't think you'll be wanting this no more, friend. And I can tell you, with no uncertainty, that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. Uh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm um, well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. Mm, at everyone's service. Yeah, yeah. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just $2 an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir, I do a bulk discount rate of $1.95 an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy 100 ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along, and let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain while we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in no. your life. Work, I assure you. So it is all a shame. 
No, no, just a little innocent valley to grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees us arriving together. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd. Restore your youth and rid you of aching bones. Witness miracles! That's it! Gather around! I'm not starting till everybody's here! Friends! Hard-working souls of uh, Chola Springs! Gather round! Gather round! Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throats, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves, stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> well, can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by... Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own Patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you to say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. <laughs> Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. Westicken's own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eye is so damn sharp, why don't you try shooting my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. Sharp you is with a moving target. Get ready to shoot that hat. You ready to get embarrassed? Seen such an eye? Behold the power of elixir plucked out of the sky. Hey, hey, what? You think you can put a on a man's hat and just walk away? Do you? Hey, it don't work like that around here, Mister. Come on, are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Let the battle commence. <clears throat> You want to fight, friend? All right, let's finish this. Look at that! Inhuman strength! Oh, oh, no. There it is, skeptics and dissenters! Irrefutable proof! Do not let this opportunity pass you by! Look, he's over there. Go get it! This ends now, life! Shot, dear boy! 
the kind of deadly accuracy that can only be afforded by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. You'll be fine. Get out of my way. Hey, where are you going? Oh, I, I want a bottle. Get me a bottle. Right here. No harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. Well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes and head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. Beware of the Greeks burying gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. He can come across as a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's most often found at Coote's Chapel. He's very devout. Why see him? Because between him and me, we can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! <laughs> Howdy, miss. Uh, what are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, uh, Jenny. You can get any. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no. Uh, I can't do anything. But with faith, I can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. And full of things that'll kill you, <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Well, take care then. Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Oh, oh heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Excuse me? You see, it was on this will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me. Were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. I, I'm in he <coughs> heaven. <coughs>
Get up this. A fine transaction. Thank you. That's perfect.
My partners won't like this. No good piece of dirt. Thank you. Okay, I'll take it. Here you go then, partner. Good luck out here.
Show yourself, Stanley!
coming there. I got, I got friends with me. I'm warning One of you. One gonna die. Reckon it ain't gonna be me. He's about to see the wrong end of my old reliable. I'm Cooper Reed, I'm taking you in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Come on, come on, let's go! Amos. Get him in there! Come on, come on! Amos! Hey, miss, I got most of the horses secure and the chickens. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know, they're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Deed? Yep. Here it is. Good of you to put your own money up for the deed. There you go. There's a little something extra in there for you. Always best when these transactions go smoothly. Particularly when you can make more money out of it. Hmm. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Oh, yeah. Mister.
I couldn't just pass by and let him kill you. Ain't no one man enough to assist me? Please feel free to browse my selection. Hello, friend. There you go. The marshal best step up post haste. Men starting to question his steel. Nice doing business. Good. Unfortunately. He is risen! Well, hello there, little lady. What do you mean, sir?
that no good piece of dirt. Thank you. Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Carry him of his diarrhea of the mouth! He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand the goddamn word he said. Hey, Marston, you see those vultures? I see them. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. I think it's this land that makes the men, as much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Come on! Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Wall Boys and the Rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Poor vultures! This don't look so good. God damn it! Come on, let's take a look. Never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean. You know as well as I do, Marshal. One way or another, some men gotta die. Can't see a soul anywhere. This ain't right. Let's... Nobody's in the shed! Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. All right, boys, we need to get into that house right now. I'm wide open here.
Right, Big mistake, on. Fred! a pretty little thing. I'm gonna end you. You're gonna be all right. Head for the shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Thank you. I was convinced I was dead. You and me gonna have ourselves some fun. As soon as you can, make a run for the shed. And keep your head down. Oh, thank God. Stay with me. Make a break for the shed when the coast is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. They did unspeakable things to me. Rest in peace, my friend. Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. Help! Some folk tried to escape into the south, but then some robbers started chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You folky men. You ain't nothing. You just some men on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets fifty dollars. Bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about figuring we've moved past the family part. Just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! The Maker stand here. Stay in cover and watch your head.
giving you enough chance to walk away. Carson, come back. There's too many to fight in the open. She's still breathing. Come here, boy. Come on, Bessie. Give. Oh. Norman Deke. Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Deke. Mighty kind. Fuck you. Hog time. Let's get him to jail.
Let's see. Come on, come on! Always late, that man. Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. Oh, let me look at you. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was Barrett. <laughs> so you want me to go find your <gasps> Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes, please. I'll see what I can do. Oh. I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around. Look for maps, half insane. I once, my hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner. He stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. <laughs> because he stole half my goddamn map! And what map's that, then? The map, partner! The map that tells me where it is! <laughs> where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> Don't make me tell, partner! <laughs> it's mine! It's mine! All mine! <laughs> sure. And where's this Moses now? Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Horses are over here! I am afraid someone there is stinking and rough. Come on! Have you looked in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? much just unimaginable riches and such like a spark of hope that lit a rage and fire i can't put out i thought as much another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing 
Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? This is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. This is one god-awful assignment. I know. This place is deader than a side of bacon. Don't you lay a finger on them horses, mister. Them dar horses! Good job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Seth, they arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! What's this got to do with you? What's he paying you? I'll give you double. Time to go! You must be stupid trusting that crazy bastard. Seth lost his mind a long time ago. think you are, mister? <laughs> Did you think I would find you? Moses, you son of a bitch! Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisting little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah. Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. 
Friend, this man's uh, gone crazy uh, in the sun. Uh, I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston! I want to cut into a bona fide man's uh, flesh. Ain't uh, never cut into a live uh, one before. Uh, 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 Help, Moses. Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! Ah! Come on. Ain't no time to be wasting. Go on, then. You can clear it at the desk. This letter should clear my bounty, right? Anytime you want to get on with it, it's fine with me. I hear they found some treasure. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask it. No problem, mister. Take a look at you. When you take a look at you, you look like you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. Whatever you say. Cold, tough, but with a heart of gold. The cowboy sings his lonely song like... Like a dog whose bone is made of wood. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. Yeah, my ma felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Saint, sir, at your disposal. But, uh, please, don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing, sending them my oh-so-witty and oh-so-pertinent missives, and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after, and action I'm going to find, too. <laughs> Wild men, cheap women, you know, guns, that sort of thing. <laughs> well, you have fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. <laughs> Mister, she's gone. Who is? My wife, she's gone. She went out picking mushrooms in the hills near Hanging Rock and they got her. About it. Oh, about as much as you'd expect. 
made me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> me for it, I'd torch you that train station. Look out, Rico! 
That no good piece of dirt. Thank you. Jeff Murphy don't put his name to a gun he don't believe in. Browse away. The marshal may as well hand Armadillo over to them thugs for all he does to stop them. Hey, mister. No, whatever the profits may be. A fine transaction. <laughs> Why do I feel like I just got robbed? Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. The fellas meant to get married today. Seen him around? For all I know, where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left me. The dumb wench is still at the freight station waiting for the stagecoach. If you could convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Now, you'll need more than talk with that bitch.
Here, this might loosen your tongue. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night, sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, <laughs> what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fella's Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I guess. are gonna be sorry when they need a haircut. <laughs>